welcome um, to this week's episode. This gentleman uh, actually had a large cyst taking out of, taken out of his maxilla in a previous episode, but this uh, very large cyst came out, packed this bone graft material in here, and what you're seeing on this radiograph is um, a snowball. That's not an official term, that's my term. Um, and eventually it will turn over into the patient's own bone and look more like this consistency and this color. But for now, we just have a lot of bone in this area and we took the offending tooth out as well. So what we call tooth number seven. So today we're gonna put an implant back into this area. I've gone back and forth between a 3.5 millimeter and a 4.3 millimeter uh, Noble Active implant. Noble Active is the brand. 3.5 millimeters is the diameter and 4.3. Um, I'll put money on it that it's a 3.5 millimeter uh, implant in the end and if anybody wants to bet me on that just uh, comment down below and I'll take you up on that bet and uh, I bet you I win. Uh, 3.5 by 13 implants what we're shooting for will also take a fixture level impression uh, meaning a mold uh, which will allow us to make a temporary tooth which won't go on until the new year. Um, right now, um, while we're videoing this, it's in August. It'll be in uh, uh, January, February, March before we put the temporary on. And it's used to guide the gum tissue so that it heals in a nice, normal, scalloped position. It takes 10 to 12 weeks to get in that final position. And then the restorative doctor will go ahead and take final impressions and make the final tooth. So let's go check this out. All right, so previously there was a cyst in this area. You can see that things have healed quite nicely. A little tissue tag right in there and some scar tissue. Our surgical site, great with tons of bone. Um, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get an implant in that spot. Um, this looks like uh, 3 5 by 13. Noble active implant is what I'm planning. Um, so we'll come back here in a little bit after um, the flap is raised and just show you some stuff. Okay, so we've raised the flap here. So I just want to show you. Got a little vertical release. Kind of pull this back. You can kind of see the area. Lots of bone, we're gonna place an implant right in this area. So I'll come back and I'll show you the actual, what we call the osteotomy site, meaning the place where we drilled the hole. So I already created the initial pilot hole, or osteotomy. So now what we're doing is we're going to more water, more water, more. Okay, just going down to depth. Now I need to get an extender on. So let's get the extender on. Come. Because I was hitting neighboring teeth. I need to get the extender on there. There we go. You can see that these drills are marked, so I know what my depth is. And I like that right there, just a little beyond. Good. So inside this container is the implant. And this is the unveiling. So, this first piece is the driver, the implant's inside, there's the implant. This is a 3.5 millimeter diameter by 13 millimeter in length. We'll go back up here to our surgical site. Uh, Nessie, you're gonna go ahead and um, irrigate, which is right on the crest. And this is where we want this implant. And we need to turn the RPMs down so it goes in nice and controlled. Here we go. Implant's going in place. There. Okay, excellent. So now we have the implant in place. You want it 2.5 to 3 millimeters below the proposed free gingival margin. If you take a look over here, it gives you an idea of tissue height. You go across, you can actually measure across like this. And when I measure that distance, it's about 2.5 to 3 millimeters. So that's where we want it. Next, we're going to take a fixture level impression of where it sits. So, be right back. Alright, so this is called an impression coping. This is the wrench. So these go together. And then you can see that this will fit inside the actual implant. So if we come over here, I'm going to place this inside the implant. I like to make sure it's seated down where I want it to be. Okay, good. And then I use this screw to tighten things up. There we go. It wasn't seated all the way. Now it's seated all the way. Let me snug that up. So now this impression coping connects to the implant and we'll be able to take a mold and then we can actually make a temporary tooth which will get made approximately four to six months from now. I'm going to fill this impression tray with uh, what's called PDS or polyvinyl siloxane impression material. You can see I'm just kind of filling this tray up. Going along here, going along here. Good. Now, I'm going to switch out my gun. Some more. 
just like a wild west here. So I know it's upside down, so that doesn't work. There we go, mm. locked and loaded, ready to go. Get a little suction around that. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some impression material around this thing. This is just fun for me. Mm. There you go. It's the little things. I'll use this up, maximize this. Okay, now the impression tray goes in and sits right like that. So that's I'll get you to put a finger here and here and just lots of stability to stay nice and still. And we're gonna let that set for about two minutes and 30 seconds. Then the impression coping will come off and we'll put a cover screw on. Now the cover screw looks like this. Here's our cover screw and our little star grip driver is hiding right here. So let me show you this. Star grip driver, cover screw. This will go, the impression coping comes off, this goes in and then the gums will be stitched over top. So we'll show you that here in a second. Um, implants in place, uh, fixture level impression has been taken. We're gonna give it a little rinse, so irrigate in the center, just to make sure it's nice and clean, good. Now, this is the cover screw that we talked about that goes in place right here. Put this down, and then I need a suture, and we're gonna suture this right back in place so it's like we weren't even here. Wow, that was something else. Um, we got her done. Um, Everything went really well. We got the implants in place. Uh, we'll take a post-operative radiograph and we'll show you that as well. Um, what will happen now is it needs four to six months to integrate um, and then we'll go and uncover it, put a, put a screw team temporary restoration on there. And remember that's used to guide the gum tissue so it heals and looks really nice. Uh, and then final impressions and the final restoration. Um, if you like this video, please feel free to share it. Also, if you go down um, and do that little thumbs up thing and say you like it and subscribe down below, that's appreciated. Thanks and we'll catch you next time.